Wow, go on people. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a video of me changing the oil and this 2019 Honda Santa Fe. And if you have the 20, 2018 and 2019, it's the same look of the it's the same look of the car so it's the same procedure even for the 2015 and up it's the same um interior for the hood i should say the hood interior or this section of the car it's the same look so it's the same procedure for those cars also so 2019 down it's the same procedure of changing your oil so you want to open your hood which you should know how to open your hood already pull the thing over there and come here and rock this this way and this this way and that will open the hood for you guys what you want to do you want to come in the car come in here unscrew your cap when you unscrew your cap this will make sh this will help the oil to flow off the bottom of the engine more easier and more faster so you can do it you don't have to do it but it's a good thing to do so let's go ahead and raise the vehicle up and guys please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the the channel help this channel grow and feel free to look around and see any other video that might caught your interest all right so yeah people um we underneath the car so this car missing the whole service door that goes right here but to remove those service door that service door you're gonna need 10 millimeter and you take out all these 10 millimeter right here and you slide it out from underneath here slide it back way and down because your car might have it this car doesn't have it it seems like somebody take it out and didn't put it back in but your car is gonna have it so our you can see maybe it got damaged and they remove it because you can see where the oil pan rub underground or rub and something so right here your oil filter gonna be located to the front of the car and it's you're gonna use a you're gonna use a oil puller which is this right here and I'm gonna leave a link in the description for all the tools that I use so we're gonna use the oil puller our oil puller pliers so link will be in the description guys and also we're gonna take off this right here so let's get started and that all right guys so you want to get your your for your, your to catch your oil you want to get this right here or whatever you might use to catch your oil you just need something to catch the oil so you don't really need this per se but something to catch your oil so you're, you don't create a mess so we're going to use the oil filter puller on here to open that once the oil filter is open you can go ahead and turn it and it will drain it will start to drain and once that stop draining you go ahead and remove the filter completely so it doesn't take long to drain even though while it's draining you still can remove it but to create less mess you would it would be better for you to wait all right so you're gonna let that drain some and you want to get your new oil filter have this right here remove this you want to get some oil and just put it around the tip so it can create a nice and proper seal all right so let's do that part all right guys once you lube up your filter tip you want to get a you want to get a piece of rug and wipe the wipe down the area where the oil filter mount make sure if the rug is clean make sure it's not dust no dust is on it or anything like that 
so once that is on it once it's clean go ahead and install your new filter and I recommend changing your oil in this car every 5,000 miles or if you don't drive that much change it at least twice a year so you want to make a full once you turn it so you want to turn the filter until it touch the the, the the rubber touch the the mount and then you give it a, a, a full turn and then you give it another quarter turn and that will make sure your oil filter is correctly tightened up so you give it a full turn and then you give it a quarter turn once it touch so that's it for that part wipe off anything any spill you might do and then we're gonna get towards the back where your drain plug is located right here so that's what we're gonna open right now and it should be 17 millimeter so we're gonna go ahead and get our 17 millimeter and take that loose all right guys so the link will be in the description for a 17 millimeter wrench you want to come here and then you want to push towards the right side of the car so it's going to go counterclockwise okay so there you go that's release and 17 millimeter link will be in the description as well so that's draining right there while that's draining you can go ahead and clean your your drain plug so once your drain plug is clean what you want to do is inspect your washer so I inspect my washer my washer is good so I don't need to replace the washer I'm just gonna reuse this washer right here so let's just wait for the oil to drain out as you can see it's really really dark like they don't change their oil so once that drain out I'm gonna go ahead and put in your drain plug and tighten it up all right guys so once the oil stopped draining you can go ahead and add your drain plug to the car and i know a lot of you guys don't have um what should i say <clears throat> uh, a lot of you guys don't have a torque wrench if you don't have a torque wrench you still can change your car you can just try not to over tighten the bolt and try not to leave the bolt too loose all right so so I turn the bolt until it make contact, right? So my hand can't turn it no more, make contact with the oil pan. Just go ahead and give it just from here. All right, so I'll just say turn it a quarter. So you start here. Once it reach contact is it, it start here and finish right here so just a quarter turn once you make sure it reach contact then you can test it with your hand to make sure it's tight so make sure it's tight so it don't come loose and that way you know you tighten the the drain plug enough and you don't over tighten the drain plug also because we don't have a torque spec um a lot of you guys don't have a torque um torque wrench or torque a lot of you guys don't have a torque wrench so i'll leave the, the, the torque spec in the video if i remember when i'm editing the video but that's how you would tighten that and this would be the point where you put back your lower engine cover your service door right here if your if your car have it when you're doing this if your car doesn't have it like oh this one doesn't have it because it looked like it was damaged 
then you just go ahead and lower the car now it's time to add fluid to the car so you just want to double check oil filter is tight and this right here is tight also and even on this oil filter it tells you right here one full turn and a quarter turn but let's go ahead lower the car and get on top of the car all right guys so we at the top and this one state what oil it used right there it's 5w20 oil it used so we're gonna get a funnel we're gonna put right here and we're gonna also add oil to it so we're gonna add like four quarts of oil and double check the the level of the oil and see all right before we add any more all right guys so i add four quart in it and it still look like it need a little bit more i already wiped the stick off already so it looked right on the money but once i crank the car the oil never gonna drop because the filter is gonna take some of the oil also so just add another half quart so put four and a half quart inside the vehicle and if you make any mess just go ahead and wipe it off all right so let's go crank the vehicle up for a little bit of time but before you crank the vehicle make sure you make sure you um have the cap on so we're going to crank the vehicle just to get the the oil to circle to circulate through the um the vehicle go ahead and crank it up so the oils circle through the vehicle so what you would like what what i think you should do in the meantime because your car does not um come with this turn on so you want to press this menu button right here and that control the menu and then you want to press down and go to service interval right there press ok right here it's saying about the hood open press ok right here and you can go and adjust it enable it so that you can come down here once you enable it you can come down to adjust interval and then press OK and it bring you over. So remember I said 5,000. So 5,000 miles, if you drive 5,000 miles, that's keep on coming on because I have the hood open, but if you close your hood, that's not gonna happen. Once that come up, you just go ahead, press OK, and that will go off. So go back here, press OK, go to 5,000. So that's 5,000 right there. Press OK until it go down to the month. So press OK till it go over to the other side. Then you want to put six months. So 5,000 or twice a year. And press save. And that will remind you when it's time to change your oil, all right? So you can just press this right here to go right here. So that will show you when to change your oil. So that's a good thing to have. I'm trying to see if I can find it. But it will come up. It will come up where this right here. It will come up on the I. The Because that I symbol right there stands for information right there. So it will come up right there. So let's double check to make sure it's on make sure it's on yes it's on as you can see service in 5,000 miles or 182 days so that's it for that video let's go ahead switch off the car and get back to the the oil all right guys so after you let it sit for about a minute or two you want to come in here and pull out your dipstick wipe off your dipstick you want to put it back in 
and you can see where the oil is half already so we're gonna have so you can see that so let's just add another quart or half of a quart so what I'm gonna do move this right here and add the oil to it so so it take four and a half to five quart of oil for this engine right here all right guys so I add a full quart so now we are right at the lever so that's it guys anyway between four and a half to five quarts so you can manage it right there please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel help me grow peace out see you next time high five